there really seems to be some providence which watches over this country. Two months ago, we were in an impossible position. For years past, our industry had been strangled by the exchange value of our money being too high, with the inevitable result that the cost of our goods was also too high for foreign markets. But how on earth were we to get loose in an honourable way? For our bankers, who had accepted foreign money at a high exchange value, felt that it would be wrong for us to change the value of our money voluntarily. As events have turned out, the change has been forced on us under circumstances extraordinarily fortunate and favourable. We have nothing to fear, honestly nothing. So often, in the past ten years, I have had to prophesy evil. But now, a great weight is lifted from us, a great tension relieved. There's no danger of the exchange falling too far. There's no danger of a serious rise in the cost of living. The worst I should expect would be a return to the prices of some two years ago. But meanwhile, British trade will have received an enormous stimulus, much more than most of us have yet realised. It is a wonderful thing for our businessmen and our manufacturers and our unemployed to taste hope again. But they must not allow anyone to put them back in the gold cage where they have been pining their hearts out all these years.